To bet finally, what have you made of the World Cup so far and just uh, the fact that we've got an all Southern Hemisphere uh, semi final stage? Um, mm. Is that telling in the sense of how different, how contrasting the styles of rugby are mm. between North and South? And I guess mm. also in terms of the refereeing, obviously, after yeah. the Scotland Australia game, yeah. there's been a bit of a stink about yes. the interpretation of, of, of um, certain uh, you know, facets yeah. of play. Well, this has been a very interesting World Cup. Mm. It's really nice to see some of the smaller or so-called smaller uh, countries performing really well. You look at Japan, they, beat, they won three games in mm. the pool and they didn't make the quarterfinal. Yeah. You know, that's actually quite sad for them. Mm. Um, and then you've seen some other teams really performing well. Scotland was outstanding in the quarterfinals. They actually deserved to win that game. Um, and that's really, for me, this World Cup was more open. You know, mm. there was more guys performing um, and competing mm. against the big guys, you know, or the big countries or the big rugby nations. So that was really nice to see. And the global game is growing. So that's fantastic to see. You know, um, the Northern Hemisphere has always been strong. England, Wales, France, you know, all of them always been strong, you know. And, and you can see how close it was, mm. you know. So anybody could have been in the semi-final or the quarter-final. So I wouldn't say uh, the Southern Hemisphere is dominating. You know, a lot of people will say that mm. uh, because of where we are in the World Cup. Um, but it was really nice to see there's a real competition and more of a level ground, mm. if I may say this. The only semi-final that or the quarter-final wasn't tight was New Zealand-France. Mm. You know, the others were really, really tight. And that's great to see because the competition is tight and hard and and that makes the world cup so interesting this year for me it's really nice to watch and really nice to see how the smaller countries compete against the bigger ones mm. and the officiating do you think it's been fair in spite of what's well, been said over the last week yeah it is very tough on those guys mm. you know it's a real tough job you know we obviously want them um, to use the technology as properly as possible because it's there for their use mm. and for the benefit of everybody. So I think they should use that. Um, people make mistakes. Everybody. Players, officials, mm. you know, the whole lot. Everybody. In life we make mistakes. So we need to accept that and obviously we need to move on. People um, is very hard on that and, and because there's a lot, of, lot at stake. People lose their jobs, you know, they don't make the semi and, you know, and this, you could see how angry the Scottish um, captain was in his, in his, mat in, in his uh, interview after yeah, the game, you know, much. the poor mm. guy, you know, was really upset. Speechless. Yes. <laughs> so um, it's, a, it's a big effect on countries and on, on, on their whole life, you know, mm. so uh, I think the, it, it's, been, it's been fine, you know, the, the guys have a lot of pressure on them, this is big games, and obviously, um, with, with the games coming now, it'll be even more pressure on the officials, mm. you know. So I think use the technology to their own benefit. Okay. Thanks, David. Thanks for your time. It's a pleasure. Anytime. Cheers.